Hi, you guys. Example 16 is very similar to example 14 and 15. So if you're like, Miss Long, 14 and 15, I've got it down. If you want to try 16 on your own, I say go for it. Okay, if you still want to follow along, that's perfectly fine. So let's get going on example 16. So remember, you guys, the first step, we're going to identify the A, B, and C, which A is the number that is in front of the X squared, which since I don't see one, there's secretly a 1. Okay, so A is 1. My B is the number that is in front of the X term, or my linear term, which the number in front of the X is negative 2. And then the C term is the constant term or the term without the variable. So that would be negative 8. Okay, let's start sliding and dividing. So I'm going to slide A to C. So slide A to C, which means we're going to multiply A to C. So A times C, 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. Okay, and then I need to identify my B, which is negative 2. Okay, and don't forget, this is called slide and divide. Divide, slide and divide. Don't forget to divide. Okay, so I slid over the 1, my A value, which means at the very end, I'm going to divide by my A value, which is a 1. Okay, let's come up with the numbers that will multiply to be negative 8 and add to be negative 2. Okay, so don't forget, you guys, if you ever are multiplying to be a negative number, a positive times a negative gives us a negative. So I already know, I can already prepare myself, one of these numbers is going to be positive, and one of them will have to be negative. Okay, so one of them is positive, and one of them is negative. Okay, so let's think of some numbers that multiply to be 8. Okay, which I'm going to make a list up here. So things that multiply to be 8. Okay, well, I know 1 and 8 multiply to be 8. I also know 2 and 4 multiply to be 8. Okay, so we need to think out of those number combinations, which one of these we know they multiply to be negative, or we know they multiply to be 8. So that part's done. But we need to know which one of these combinations will add to be a negative 2. So let's see here. If I use 1 and 8, let's see here. Negative 1 plus 8, well, that's... 7, so that's not going to work because I'm trying to get negative 2. Okay, and negative 8 plus positive 1, well, that's negative 7. So this one does not work. Okay, now let's try this one. So I'm trying to get negative 2. So let's see here. One of these has to be negative because I'm multiplying to be a negative. Okay, so let's see here. Negative 2 plus positive 4, well, that is going to be a positive 2. So that's not going to work out, but positive 2 and negative 4, 2 minus 4, that will give me negative 2. So when you guys are coming up with these numbers, sometimes you kind of have to think about, you know, what multiplies to be this number? And then after you come up with that, you have to ask yourself, well, what will add to be this number? So that's kind of what I do when I come up with the numbers I'm going to be using. So I know that 2 times negative 4 does, in fact, multiply to be negative 8. Holy hot dog, right? And 2 minus 4, 2 plus negative 4, same thing, equals negative 2. So these are my magical numbers that are going to work. Okay, so then after that, you just take these numbers and bring them on down. So this is a positive 2, so I'm going to put plus 2. This is a negative 4, so I'm going to write minus 4. Okay, if it's positive, oh, didn't mean to do that. If it's positive, you're going to add the number. If it's negative, you're going to subtract the number. Okay, and then the last step, I'm just going to simplify my fractions down, and then guess what? We have factored using slide and divide. We have done our general factoring, so get excited. Okay, so 2 divided by 1 is a positive 2, so plus 2. And negative 4 divided by 1, well, that will give me a negative 4. So this is going to be my final answer. And again, I'm not going to go through it again with you, but if you'd ever like to check yourself, you can always like redistribute this bad boy back out and see if you end up with what you started with. And that's a good way to check yourself. Well, guess what, you guys? That's it. Excellent job.